Wow, would you look at that. Should I keep this on the whole video? It's pretty distracting. Okay, I'll just... What is up, Crackhead Nation? It's the girl, Princess Galaxy. Happy New Year! Oh my gosh! It's 2021. It feels pretty good. A lot of optimism. Yay! Good, good stuff coming. I can feel it in the air. So today, I decided to make my first video of 2021 about my favorite thing that I think about um, I think almost every other day of my life at this point. Well, we be having actual live K-pop concerts in 2021 in 2021. So I just want to start off this video by saying I'm not really an insider. I don't know anything. Okay, I know a lot of things, but we've just had a lot of interesting things happen to us, especially in America with COVID-19 and uh, a lot of K-pop fans like myself and just fans of live entertainment in general are wondering, are we going to be getting some we're gonna begin some live concerts. So I'm gonna talk about it, my opinion, and I also have some things that I asked you guys on Instagram and I'll be answering some of those questions as well. This is just like a discussing, discussing video. This is just like a discussion video. I just wanted to get up here and talk to you guys and just let out my feelings. So let's get into it. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel for more Crackhead K-pop content and K-pop concert content. Um, If you're excited for 2021, and if you enjoy me and my beautiful face, then become a member of Crackhead Nation today. All right, let's get into it. So I asked you guys on Instagram with a beautiful picture of Young, what questions do you have for me in this video I'm gonna be making? And what do you want me to talk about when it comes to K-pop concerts, obviously, or anything, but these are just about K-pop concerts, so yeah. So the first inquiry or question that I got was how much do you think concert tickets will be? So, me personally, I feel like if we do have concerts this year, I feel like the concert prices from last year, like the base prices will be the same, like for tickets and stuff, like for floor seats, like 300 or like, you know, sound check and stuff. And then like, it goes down from there. But if like, if your artist has not like released has not came out with tickets yet and they're like still planning their tour and like the tour comes out this year but like tickets have one on sale yet i really do think ticketmaster the worst company in existence mind you will most likely add like insane fees because of all the money they lost last year and even though they got money from the government i'm not trying to get political i'm just telling you the fucking truth um they'll still definitely add on probably a 30 or 40 dollar fee for like COVID charge or pandemic charge. I can totally see them doing that. I mean, like, I won't have any problem paying it, but at the same time, it's just like crazy. Also, did you, did you guys hear about Ticketmaster probably doing this thing next year where they'll be having, um, I don't know, I saw, I read an article about how they'll be having people like do tests and stuff and you'll have to like get a pop, you have to get a negative coronavirus test in order to actually like go to the concert and like buy a ticket or something like that. I'm not sure exactly how they're gonna do that because I feel like a, it's gonna be like pretty fraudulent and like stupid and people are gonna like manipulate the system. But that's literally every system at this point about 4 million people in America have been vaccinated with the COVID-19 vaccine. So there is hope that there will be events, but we'll see how the events transpire. So long story short, I think tickets will be, they'll definitely be more expensive. I'm not sure about how much. I'm guessing like it'll be the same base price and then they'll just add on like extra fees and stuff like that. So that's just what I think they are gonna do because it just sounds so likely. Like that's how the tickets become more expensive in the first place is just Ticketmaster being like, oh, um, we're you're breathing $20 like that. So that's what I think. All right, next question. Is BTS having a live concert? And if you brought a, and if you bought a ticket from before, will it count? I've gotten this question a lot and Big Hit has, I believe, confirmed that they will be honoring tickets that were sold last year. Technically, all the tickets for Map of the Soul, at least in my in my one, like in Chicago, sold out, and I'm pretty sure they all sold out in America. 
I'm not sure about other countries and stuff like that because I'm not from there. But I know in America, I'm pretty sure all of them sold out. So I do think that obviously BTS and Big Hit Entertainment will be honoring them. And um, yeah, I'm pretty sure BTS will be having a concert this year. I'm not sure if it'll be in South Korea or America, but I have a feeling that they will still be doing some live event this year because I really do think with the vaccine, it is kind of like a light at the end of the tunnel. It is like hope for people. I'm sorry, when I did this, it, it made me think of a book. <laughs> How old am I? I'm gonna be 22 this year, guys. I'm gonna be 22. Oh my god. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. <laughs> Can't wait to play that song so much. Okay, let's move on from this catastrophe that I'm. Let's just move on from all this. I also got a handful of questions asking, did you participate in any online concerts in 2020? What was that like? And the other one, have you attended a virtual concert? If so, how did you like it? Well, I'm gonna tell you guys straightforward. I have not attended an online concert. I did not participate in the Map of the Soul 1 concert. So I am going to be participating in the Blackpink, um, the show concert. I got tickets for the show and I'm really excited about it. If you guys don't know, Blackpink is, you probably do know because I'm a blank and I've talked about it before. But Blackpink is doing their first live online concert. It was originally scheduled for December 27th, but due to South Korea basically going back one phase in their COVID protocol. In South Korea, I think there can only be 10 people in, in an enclosed space at this time, whether they're like COVID positive or negative. So at this point, um, they rescheduled it to, I believe, January 30th or January 31st. And it's going to be, I believe, 12 a.m. my time. So I'm really excited for it. And when that happens, and I'll record my entire experience and let you guys know how it goes. And I'm going to make a video about it. So stay tuned. I am so excited. Honestly, I feel like concerts now, like online, it's not the same, obviously, because like, you know you're in a huge space with like a ton of people and like we're all you're all like feeling the energy and like you just you vibing you know what i mean like you can't get like you can get drunk at home and yell at some random person but it's not the same you know what i mean like i miss the days where i could just you know go to a concert scream like incorrect korean lyrics to, with like other girls who are singing incorrect korean lyrics while i'm drunk out of my mind and scaring someone's parent okay but i can't do that online like it's not the same thing <laughs> like i really really desperately miss going to concerts i feel like the reason why i haven't like i didn't do the bts concert at that time not because i didn't have any money then which was one of the reasons but another reason that was a really big reason for me is that like I just felt like it wouldn't be the same like obviously not and I know the company has to like make money and I know fans do want to see their faves but and you know it's easier for people you know who can't afford like a $300 ticket you know pay 30 40 bucks I'm pretty sure Map of the Soul 1 was I'm $40 and up, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. And you know, Blackpink's thing is gonna be, it's like $30. So I know it's like easier and cheaper and you can't really sell out. You know, you can basically make as much money as you want with these concerts, but I just feel like it's not the same and I'm really missing it. And it makes me freaking sad because it's like the best parts of the concert is like gone. You're like, you're imagining being there with your light stick around other fans doing a fan chant you know what i mean like that's what i really care about like the fan chant the interactions you know um drunk crying afterwards processing everything walking to a random mcdonald's in the middle of the city with everyone else who was just at the concert and screaming about how taehyung completely wrecked your brain like that's what i want to do so <laughs> It just feels like a more lonely experience, which is kind of what the vibes are, you know, with COVID, unfortunately. Obviously, you can still watch it like with someone in your household. Like I'm probably gonna end up watching it with Cameron. 
um, you might end up falling asleep, but I want to watch the whole thing with him because I have no one else. Also, I do want to talk about BTS and other K-pop groups possibly doing it in Korea first, like having their concerts in Korea first, and then eventually going to, you know, other countries like America. Um, at this point, since, since South Korea has been on lockdown, it seems like their cases have been going up the last few months, but they do have a smaller population than the United States. And during lockdown for majority of last year, they seem to have somewhat of their shit together. I mean, they had an app that everyone had to download and they had like COVID, um, like, you know, they actually took care of their people. So I think a lot of countries will start doing that where like you get the COVID vaccine, like for South Korea, like let's say for example, like I, me and Cameron want to go to South Korea to see BTS. Like, and they're having a concert in like September. That's just my prediction. September 2021, BTS, Map of the Soul, Tour, Soul. You know what I mean? At the, what is it, Olympic Stadium or whatever it is. Like, if I get the COVID vaccine and then I get on a plane and like I'm full, like I'm straight, you know, I don't have COVID and I also test negative before and after getting on the flight and you can like approve that with your ticket or like the thing Ticketmaster was talking about or even with the Korean government, they'll have something with the tickets, you know what I mean? Then I could totally see South Korea and other countries doing that as well. I just, like the vaccine is the main thing that I think other countries care about because I really wanna go to Lollapalooza in Stockholm, but I don't think they'll let me because I'm American. So I really am looking forward to getting the vaccine once everyone who you know, elderly and frontline essential workers get it, then I'll gladly get it <laughs> when it's available because that gonna make me immune and then I can do shit. <laughs> so I'm actually really looking forward to 2021. I'm pretty optimistic about at least some live events coming back, whether they're in a different form. I know a lot of people have been doing drive-ins and stuff like that. And a lot of people are also saying that we're not gonna get normal concerts until 2022. And they were even saying that last year, but I am optimistic about it happening at least this year. I'm guessing at the end, I'm guessing like August, September, October, November, December. So I'm really excited in 2021, not just about concerts in general, but also about my YouTube channel. I'm really happy and I think it's gonna be a great year for all of us. Crackhead Nation is gonna grow so freaking big and we're all just gonna have fun and I hope you enjoyed this video. I really, really do. I love making videos, I love interacting with you guys. So leave a comment, let me know what you thought and also subscribe to my channel for more Crackhead K-pop content, like I said. I cannot wait because this month I will be bleaching my hair. So, wait for that video. I'm trying to look like a certain K-pop idol with purple hair. And um, I know that's a lot of them at this point, but I'm gonna try my best. I've never done anything to my hair. It's all natural, 4B, 4C type hair. And I'm excited to do it. So if you're interested in that, subscribe so you won't miss it. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you so much. Have a great rest of your day. And remember, I love you. Bye. Happy New Year. <laughs>